Today I'd like to introduce you to Zoran OS7. This is a release candidate. They have redesigned their, their looks, their icons. It is a user-based uh, distribution system. It is designed for the new users coming over from Windows, make it easier to make, make the transition over. However, it has turned into a major distribution system that uh, people like. Uh, they like the looks of it, the ease of the use of it. They can also operate some of their Windows software on it. Um, it has a tremendous software database that you can get apps, applications. Um, you don't have to put out a big amount of money to get started. Matter of fact, it's free to download. And just go to Distro Watch, and you can download it from Distro Watch, or I will include a link into the show notes. So let's get started. The Zoran menu. Well, this is the uh, I believe the Zoran Seven look. Um, it has the uh, has all of our accessories or our our main menus and our screenshots, terminals, text editors, calculators, archive managers, and, uh, games. Comes with a few games. Comes with Solitary, My Man John, and a few others. The uh, Potato Guy and Frango Toe. I had it too. <laughs> As usual for my little granddaughter, she likes to get on Grand Pops computer and play games, especially if I'm really into doing something. Oh well. So we'll go to graphics. Graphics, we've got doc Document Viewer, we got the GIMP. Um, GIMP is Linux version of Photoshop. And, uh, it's, it does a good job. I use it occasionally on, on different photos that I might want to touch up. Or or just do some transitions too, but uh, it don't look like it's wanting to load up. Well, there we go. Now, GIMP, when it loads, you can see it loads into three different sections. Well, personally, I don't like that, so what do I do about that situation? Well, I'll go to Windows up in the top of my menu. Go to Windows and I click Single Windows Mode, and there I have it all in one. I can open a photo. The photo comes in here, and I got all of my tools stuff right wherever I need them, and I can do what I need to do with my photo with no problem. And, uh, so back to our graphics. I've got my image draw. I've got my LibreOffice draw. I've added in the Shopwell Photo Manager. Uh, I like it best of any I've used, and, uh, and it, I can do a lot with it. But like I say, it is a photo manager. It's not an editor. I'm a simple scan for my scanners. Uh, my internet. I got my desktop sharing. Dropbox. That's my personal Dropbox. So. I keep most of my important stuff online and I can access it from any computer with a Dropbox. Uh, Foxfire I added. The mail come with it. Google Chromium or Google Chrome is uh, standard pigeon. Um, remote desktop. Thunderbird I added because I like to use Thunderbird. I, I'm used to it. And I like the way it operates. Uh, each to his own opinion on the mail programs. Of some likes one thing or another. I just like Thunderbird. Transmission I added. That's my turret program. Uh, for downloading uh, little programs and stuff. Matter of fact, I downloaded uh, a Linux distribution system. With that way, because a lot of them, that's the way they want you to download. Because it saves them server space. And we got our Zord mat. Uh, Browser Manager. Uh, 
and it gives you a choice of browsers that you can add or use now my office that will go with a mail in our liberal office uh, had a document down there as the link to where you can get the uh, download the Zorin 7 straight from Zorin uh, back to offices if I uh, let me open something else That's a full suit of office programs. Um, it do just it'll do anything that Microsoft Office will do. And best part is it's free. It comes with the system. Um, and if you wanted to change to maybe Abbey Word, you can go to their software uh, sources, then you can get a, a download of Abbey Word. Which is I mean, they just got tons and tons of free, app, free applications out there that you can do anything with Linux that you want to do. With the Zorin system, you can do anything you want to do. I mean, they got software for about anything. I mean, it's just amazing. This is one, one nice system here. Uh, sound management. I've got my Brazo, my cheese. videos a lot of stuff I put in because this is on a full install to the hard drive on my computer I've got like three different operating systems running on it at present but I'm doing this video with recording my desktop I have a little problem with the sound so if there's a little noise in the, in the uh, sound I'm working on it but We'll get there with it. Now, my system tools, got my administration, got my G part, my software center, which is uh, where you go to to download your <coughs> software or your apps, as I call them. Uh, that's a little slow getting started because it's got to load up all the information. There we go. Now. Uh, just to show you some things, let's go to the internet. Uh, most people ask what they use the computer for these days anyway is the internet. We've got our file sharing chat and all that good, all that stuff. And there's the Chromium. I kind of get mixed up when I start talking about Google Chrome because uh, I really prefer Chromium over Chrome. There. <laughs> And basically they're the same same system, but uh, I don't know. I, I just like the way it operates. It's got its own translator, which Chrome's got its own translator. If you got friends that's a foreign country and you don't know the foreign language, can't read it, the translator translates everything for you. And there you go. So, now we'll go back. You got your... Uh, you got your, uh, your games, your graphics, your office programs, your science engineering, sound programs. Uh, you got system tools. You got tons and tons and tons of, uh, of programs that, uh, like I say, free. You just click on what you want. Let's see. I don't want this, but I double clicked it, brought it up, got the information tells me a little about it. I can go down and read the reviews on it. And if I decide I want it, I just click install and you'll see it start with the progress meter at the top. When it's through it'll tell you that you don't even have to reboot. You just click on your menu and find your uh, program you just installed and run it. Which is neat I, I think. <laughs> okay. So got our software centers and all, but let's see, system tools, back system tools. Now one of the things that I like about Zorin, and I'm trying to cut this a little short today, I kind of went over my time limit the other day, but anyway, I'm trying to cut this short, and 
one of the things that I really like about it is uh, is there a uh, system saying is there a looks changer? I can change the looks of the system uh, to suit me. You know, I've got the Windows 7 look, the Windows XP look, and I've got it set up like this, which is pretty much the regular install way it comes, way it boots up. But I personally like this look. Uh, it's and I, every now and then I'll change it to something else. And like this is the RC candidate, which is not not the, the uh, final. Uh, probably in the final they'll have a, a few more looks. I don't know. I know in the uh, Zorn Six they have have. Uh, a few more looks in, but I I, I like it. Then you bar from the top. There, I like to lay out a little bit better as far as the way it's laid out. It, it you know it is the grown look. Um, so, and then our we can change our desktop by right clicking, change desktop. It comes up with and. Uh, this desktop that I've got is the desktop that it, ins that it installs that it boots to. But if you don't like that, you can always change the desktop. Just click on it. It'll bring this up. And you can look. And it's got a few nice desktops in it. Um, I kind of like it. I kind of like that desktop. I mean, it looks neat to me and nice, clean. But anyway, and you can add desktops to it. You can add photos to your desktop. Do whatever you want to do with the system. I mean, there's tons and tons and tons of choices. But this being a, um, a Zorn system, I don't expect anything more out of Zorn than the best. Uh, I've ran Zorn from, uh, I got it on, on it on Zorn 6. Uh, I've got, I installed the ultimate system and I've been uh, running Zorn alongside of some other ones and like I said I'm running three different systems on my, my computer and it depends on on how I feel that day as to what I want to run. <laughs> that, that's about what it comes down to. But Zorn 7, if you are in if you are looking to get into the Linux distribution system, you come in from Windows, I would highly suggest Zorin 7. Uh, I've had a, a lot of people come in and want me to do little things with their computers, and I've talked to them about, this, about the Linux systems and the Zorin systems and all, they wouldn't have it. But they'd, but been occasions when they needed to use a computer and they'd ask to use mine. I'm sure you use my computer over there, no problem. They get on it and they sit there and they run the system, never knowing that they're on a Linux system. And I just let them have a big time. And when they're through, I say, "How you like that Linux system?" Uh, of course, you know, it starts there, and then the next thing I know, I'm installing a Zorin system on their computers. <laughs> but it's a nice system. I would surely give it a shot. Uh, I'd put it in my top five of operating systems. And, uh, so, as I said, I'll, I will give you a download link in my show notes. I appreciate you watching. Check back with us. And uh, I will be doing some more reviews on different distribution systems and and I'll be putting up some on my other hobby, which is pipe restoration. But anyway, keep checking back. Uh, I'll be sending out newsletters of different systems and what have you. And I'll well, thank you for watching. Give us a shout out. Uh, and I would like to have a shout out to my my buddy Robert on uh, Angry Trucker on the uh, YouTube. Look him up. He's, he's quite a character. <laughs> okay, though. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later.